terrain elevation information can be added to the terrain perimeter by using the terrain elevation tools. For this example, create a sloped lot using the terrain elevation tools. Then place a terrain wall. First establish the terrain perimeter by clicking on terrain, then create terrain perimeter. To create a simple sloped lot, click the terrain menu. Under elevation data, select elevation line. With this tool, a minimum of two lines must be drawn to generate a slope or change the terrain. Draw an elevation line at the back of the terrain perimeter. Notice that the placement of the terrain line is inside the boundary of the terrain perimeter and it extends beyond its sides. If the terrain line is drawn short of the property line, terrain may not generate as expected. Elevation lines are set at an elevation of zero by default. Open this line for specification. Notice that the elevation is listed in inches. All elevation data is displayed in inches. It is likely the elevation data is provided in feet. This information can be entered into the field in feet by including an apostrophe. Assign this elevation line an elevation of 20 feet. Click OK. Repeat this process. Add an elevation line in the center of the lot and set the elevation to 10 feet. The closer elevation lines are to each other, the steeper the slope will be. If they are farther away from each other, the slope will be more gradual. Draw one last elevation line near the front of the lot. Leave its elevation set to zero. If the terrain has not already generated, Generate the terrain automatically by clicking Build Terrain in the Build Terrain drop-down. Home Designer took the information provided by the elevation lines and created contour lines in the floor plan view. This translates into a smoothly sloping lot. Now that the terrain is in place, create a retaining wall on the sloping lot. Click on the terrain menu. Then, under Terrain Wall and Curb, choose Straight Retaining Wall. Extend the retaining wall across the property to both ends of the perimeter. This creates a terrain break that breaks the terrain into two areas. The elevation data is then calculated for each of the two areas. Drag one end of the retaining wall in slightly from the edge of the property. Notice the effect of the terrain now fading around the retaining wall. Elevation regions are useful to level out the ground where the home will sit or define a single elevation for an entire section of a lot. To add an elevation region, click Terrain, then Elevation Data, and choose Elevation Region. Click and drag to define the region. Select it and click Open to specify the desired elevation. Elevation regions can be reshaped using the Break and Arc tools and the Edit handles. Another way to modify the terrain is with the Terrain Modifier tools. Under Terrain, click Modifier. Here choose from Raised or Lowered Regions. A raised region creates a raised area with a top surface that is flattened like a plateau, but continues to follow the surface of the terrain. A lowered region also follows the surface of the terrain but is depressed into it with a flattened bottom. The hill and valley options, available in the terrain menu, under modifier, create raised and lowered areas in the terrain that come to a point, rather than flattening at their highest or lowest elevations. Be careful not to overlap elevation data or retaining walls. Doing so may generate unexpected results. For more information about terrain and terrain tools, see the built-in help menu and our support articles available on the website. Thanks for watching.